There was standing room only. Hundreds of people turned up to make their voices heard against proposals to build Jersey's new hospital on the People's Park in St. Helier. Listening to the views were Jersey's Chief Minister Ian Gorst and the Health Minister Andrew Green. People's Park has become the most controversial of the five options being considered. Well, in a moment, we'll have more on tonight's meeting. But first, Emma Chambers looks at where we're currently at with the proposals. Work has started on the hospital's new operating theatres, but this is just to keep the old crippling hospital going while a decision is made on where the new one will go. It's been narrowed down to five options, rebuilding the hospital where it is, splitting the hospital between its current site and Overdale, or building a brand new one at Overdale, the waterfront or People's Park. People's Park is just around the corner from the General Hospital and is the latest site to be included in the running for the island's future hospital. It's a big green site that's been used for beer and food festivals as well as the 2015 Island Games and Liberation celebrations. And it's caused the biggest uproar of all the sites. A campaign group has been set up to stop it being built on. Those behind the new hospital plans have offered to turn the old site into a park and extend Millennium Park to make up for the loss of green space if People's Park is chosen. But campaigners are determined to have it removed from the shortlist altogether. Well, Emma's been at tonight's meeting and she sent us this report. Islanders started arriving an hour before the meeting began. All the seats are full and it's standing room only. They've come to hear from the health minister and show their support against the People's Park being chosen as the site for the future hospital. So what are their biggest concerns? The options that they're putting forward, including they're including land that they don't even own, that they're going to have to purchase. There's hotels on Kensington Place that they say are going to be parkland when they don't even own them. Instead of spending a lot of money, this 400 whatever uh, million that they want to spend, they could do a lot better with the new hosp the hospital we've got and just spend less money. There's such an obvious alternative, the parade gardens. You could bridge over to it. It's got a nurse's home behind it. Everything's in its favour. Well, clearly the hospital needs, is, is, needs investment. The hospital needs ongoing investment. Whether it needs a new building is, is another issue. It's called the People's Park for a very good reason. And if we lose it, we're losing a huge, wonderful space that's used by 70 people, Battle of Flowers, to name but one. And we're trying to encourage tourism. You lose that space, where are you going to put the park, the, the rides and everything else? Well, the meeting was organised by the Save People's Park Committee. Christian May is the chairman of that group. Christian, surely the hospital has to go somewhere. And the People's Park is one of the options and listed as one of the cheapest and quickest options. Why do you think it's a bad idea? Well, there are options and People's Park is just one of them. But we don't want it to be on that shortlist. What we're saying is People's Park has an intrinsic value to the people of St Helier and the people of the island. It's got a value as a sports facility for tourism. Um, and historically as well, it was the scene of the liberation celebrations in 1946 and the same again just last year for the 70th anniversary. People use it every day and to lose that core green space would be a huge loss to the people of the island. But if it is deemed as the best possible site for a future hospital, surely best health care is more important than just extra green space? I think it's difficult to make people choose between quality health care and the provision of green space. We want an island that has both. There are other options that are undeveloped and not green space, for example the waterfront or looking again at Overdale, and they will allow us to have the best of both worlds. Well, thank you very much, Christian. Well, there are plenty more meetings and drop-in centres across the month to give more information about where the future hospital will go. Emma Chambers, BBC Channel Islands News, Jersey.